Can I tell you the little story, or because it, 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 it is quite amusing in that, at the same time um, that this whole project uh, was coming up, the novel had been a big smash hit, and everything, and everyone was talking about the movie, and uh, so then Clift was going to do it, and Lancaster, and and was Sinatra going to do it or not, you know, and. Um, uh, I, at this particular moment, had changed agents and gone to a very marvelous agent called Bird Allenberg. And uh, I think uh, it was within a week of my having made the transfer, you know, how, how one does it professionally. You, you just make the transfer and, you know, they wait, the other agency waits out the time. And um, uh, he called me in the morning and said, uh, uh, have you read From Here to Eternity? And I said, well, of course I've read From Here to Eternity. And he said, how about playing the part of the captain's wife, Karen Holmes? I said, but you, you know, not that, they, 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 nobody's ever going to think of me in those terms. They just, they just aren't. I mean, my God, it would be mar marvelous. I'd adore to do it. But, and he said, well, he says, we can have a try. He says, I'm going in to see Harry Cohn. I said, oh, don't make a fool out of me. Harry Cohn will kick you out of the office. He says, never mind, I'll call you in the evening. So on pins and needles, I waited all day. Six o'clock came, 6.30. Phone rings, it's Bert Allenberg. And I said, hello, what happened? He said, you're right, he kicked me out of the office. <laughs> but the seed had been implanted because Bert was a very shrewd man. And um, Harry Cohn after having kicked Bert out of the office. And, and Bert Allenberg was not the kind of per agent ever. You couldn't, you, you, one could, kicked out of offices when one just didn't. Uh, Harry called in the producer, Buddy Adler, the director, Fred Zinnemann, who were all on the lot working on the whole project. And Harry said to them, do you know that stupid SOB Bert Allenberg was here? And do you know who he suggested for the part as they were having trouble with Joan Crawford, who was supposed to, to play the part. She wanted a certain cameraman. And uh, so Buddy and Fred Zinnemann said, no, who? And uh, Harry Cohn said, Deborah Carr, like that. And they both looked at each other and said, my God, of course, but marvelous. That would be, uh, that's going right against the obvious. It would be sensational. Well. And that to Harry Cohn's credit, he, he, he saw it right away. He didn't fight them. And, uh, and uh, then Allenberg called me again, you know, the next following morning after my having said, I told you not to go in there and make an idiot of me, called me 10 o'clock the next morning. And he said, just had Harry Cohn on the phone. He wants to know how much he can get you for. <laughs> so that was how I got into that. And